Hey, good morning, guys. This is Eric with American Home Fitness. Uh, today, we are filming from the Swanson Garage. Why? Because we want to talk a little bit about what you can do with a simple third stall garage. You know, don't just put crap in there. You know, don't put, you know, grandpa's fishing pole and the kid's wagon that they used 20 years ago. Clean it out. Make it a useful space for your fitness routine. Minimal investment, maximum results, and maximum benefits. So let me show you what we've got going on here. First of all, we've got real simple stuff. BOSU ball, a mat, medicine ball, slam ball, kettlebell, a couple dumbbells, a little weighted vest. Over here we've got, you know, a super band, a resistance band, a, uh, a physio ball, and up here, obviously the big piece, which is basically a vertical knee raise unit with attached chin-up machine. With this, we're just going to jump into some different exercises. I'm going to show you what you can do with just something as simple as a mat and a ball, all the way up to what you can do with a structured piece with some attachments to put onto it. We're first, going to start off with a little core work. You know, core work can be simple, it can take a lot to get into, and I'm going to show you just with a mat, a medicine ball, eight pounder, and a BOSU, how we can work our core in a few different ways. First of all, let's just get down on the mat, make sure it's nice and padded. I'm on a concrete floor, so it better be. Just a simple crunch. You know, just grabbing the back of your head, not wrenching your neck. Just get your shoulder blades up off the mat. Just like that. Simple. Go into some bicycles. Work those obliques. Doesn't have to be fast. You see a lot of people doing this. That's great, but you know, sometimes it's better just to bring that left knee to that, or left elbow to that right knee, hold that contraction, bring it over. Make those obliques work. Okay, a full out, full length sit up, using a medicine ball as your strength, all the way up. This helps elongate the spine when you're in the back pos long position, contract those rectus abdominis as you're bringing the ball up and over. Okay, bring over the BOSU. BOSU. Just so you know, it stands for both sides up. You can turn it upside down for a less stable platform. Right now, we're just gonna jump on this. Kind of get your tailbone right in the middle. Grab your medicine ball and just do some Russian twists. Again, working the obliques. Put your feet down for a modified version. Feet up for a little bit more challenging. Once you're done there, another well-loved core work is what they call the dead bug. Just kind of get your lower back in the center of the ball. Just hold it right here. You'll be amazed at how much contraction you get in your abs. Just doing something simple, strength, lengthen it out, makes it a little bit more difficult. Back up. Do a little bit of chest work since we're working with the ball. Simple push up. Down. Switch it over, down, up, down, up. There you go. Lastly, finish off the chest. Put the BOSU on its dome side. Put your hands on the outside. A little bit of instability here. Another push up. Make it challenging. Bring it over to the side. Back up, center, the other side, back down. Again, every time you create some instability in your movement, it's more challenging, and more challenging means some of the smaller muscles, those connective tissues are working harder, kind of rounds out the muscle, brings everything into engagement. 